Good morning. It's time to get started. It's a little bit ahead of time, so we'll have our open prayer for the fifth. Good morning. Happy to have everyone here today. Today's a special day for us. What is it? 100 Death Day. And it seems like it's getting a little bit more and more growing. And I know during the worship time, we'll have to standing more. So, let's have a prayer time, okay? Our Father in heaven, what an awesome God you are. We want to say thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Especially for your son Jesus who came upon this earth to show his great love for us. <coughs> Father, at this time, we pray for some people who are sick, some people who are traveling in different ways. Also, some people who cannot be here today, and we understand. But Father, <coughs> we give thanks for a special day, 100th Deaf Day, and hope to see many of the deaf people coming to church to learn about your word. And Father, right now, we want to say thank you for the rain, but we pray for some <coughs> of lost home through the bad weather that we had recently yesterday. Also pray for some people who lost the family life, comfort them. And Father, thank you for protecting us. Thank you for protecting this church building so that we have a place to worship you. Continue to be with us today while we study your word. In your son, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. everybody. I will meet you after later on. I want to welcome you all for the Bible class. I want to thank Gordon, Fred, Carl Moore have given me an opportunity for me to come and preach for you. Some of you may not remember me, but I hope that you will learn this word. Of course, we need to be patient and learn more about coming to improve ourselves. God would love you if you continue to do that. Now, we're going to see, we're going to be reading from the book, Paul letter to Titus. I will, I will try to brief it down with Titus. Okay. So, once I start teaching and explaining about this, you will learn more and more and more. And then you will know what he has done while he was gone. And he gets a letter, and he teaches, and as he travels, he warns and rebukes them. And he tries to ignore. But as he preaches, he continues on to work. So, let us read. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Now, many people want to know who is Titus? He was not old, he's young. He looks like Timothy. And teach us. Excuse me, sorry about that. Good 
Titus. You can see what it says. Huh. Huh. It's very impressive. Titus really is the son. Paul says, like, he's the son to me. So we have to share faith together. Grace that we share together. Grace and peace to you from God. The Father and Christ Jesus, our Savior. He himself was the Jewish He didn't realize that he was born Greek. Titus 1, verse 5 said, I left you in Crete. It's a country similar like an island right there. So that you could finish doing what I still need to be done. I also left you there so that you can choose men to be elders in every town. So he was brave. And he says, hey, I want to warn you, follow the right way. Don't do those things. That was wrong. <coughs> you know, I'm pretty sure that Titus, you know, he had to be very, very patient. And as he worked and worked and worked, I'll show you an example. As you can see the map right there. And all that map right there. But Paul had left Timothy or Titus, and as he received the letter from him, and as he stands up. And he reminds them. All right. As you can see, verse one says, however, you, however, must tell everyone how to live in a way that agrees with the true teaching. You have to be honest and teach. And you have to be truthful. Not false action. You have to show them word by word. Am I making this up? No. You have to teach them. It's the truth, so you have to be patient. And try to show the truth. And teach them. Secondly, look at this other one. <coughs> teach the older man to have self-control. To be serious. You know, you have to teach them how to be controlling. You 
You must have faith, love, and be patient. My favorite words, always shining for you. You know what it is? That last word that you can see. That's right, Brother Gordon, that's right. He should. Woo. Many people say, I hate that one, I hate that one. Be patient. You have to teach them, teach them. Wow. Third. Same thing as the older men. You have to teach the older women to live in the way those who serve the Lord should live. You have to teach them. That's why you have to help the older women and to teach them. And once at first, why? Because once you start teaching them, it will help them as well. That's why you need to make it a habit. They should not go around saying bad things about others or be in the habit of drinking too much. You know, back in today, you know, back then to time, times. They say it is too much to drink. You need to lessen that down. Titus tried to explain to them with the women. But, guess what? Oh, I'm older. Some know, some don't. I'm way behind, you know, the news. No one had told me. Titus had tried to teach them and teach them and teach them the truth. Wow. Paul has been informing me, you know, it's not my word, it's God's word. I'm passing it on down to Wow. Verse 4. You know, we teach the young women, we must love your husband and children. Love their husband and love their children once they take care of both of them. Wow. Titus had tried to tell them that. Old men, old women, <coughs> and young women. Number five. Very impressive. They will teach them to be wise and to take care of their home and to be kind and to be willing, not will, but wanting to serve their husband. then no one will be able to criticize the teaching God gave us. If I'm mean or criticized like you want to go out there and hurt some people, no. He doesn't mean that. He needs to warn them. He needs to make them right. I try to warn them, not judge them. Yes. But I'm just curious. If anyone have any any discussion about one to five, or if you want more discussion, let me know. If you have any questions, please raise your hand. This is the, I'm not going to be mean person, like a doll. You know, I don't want to be like a doll. 
You know, they start barking at me. Oh, not that kind of. This is the clap. If you have any question or you're curious, please do so. No? Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Why did I say, why does it say the same way as young men? To make it more clear. That's the same way. The young men tell them the young men to be wise. It's not wise to do it that way. Brothers and sisters, someone should be wise. You know, come in after church, go home. Move on. You know, Lewis Perry says, why do you have to be wise? What's the plan? You have an appointment, you know, with the doctor. Well, I have a plan to, I want to visit a friend. Maybe teach them God's word. Or encourage them. And I hope that you will go out after church and do the same thing. God will be with you. Don't let Satan get involved and mess up. No. <coughs> Say, God, please keep Satan out of my life. Only him can control. Titus says that you need to control yourself. You need to listen to him. Excuse me. You should be a good example for them. In every way. By the good thing you do. You need to say, oh, I know that. Oh, I don't need that. No. You know, I'm being serious. I'm trying to teach. Oh, I don't need that. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, blah, blah, blah. This and everything. I'm surprised about that. Look at the last word. When you teach, be honest and serious. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Not me? Oh. It's God speaking. Oh, okay. And then... You have to warn them a little bit. And I should come over here. What? Did you get a turn me down? What? Oh, he's gonna show me. Okay. First eight. And your teaching should be clearly right so that you cannot be criticized that anyone who is against you will be ashamed. There will not be anything bad they can say about us. You know, ooh, something bad. Sometimes, I know somebody always complain and start criticizing against me. You need to go outside and talk about it, not in church. And as you look out, there's a mistake. What is the credit? Are they trying to criticize me? Oh, Gordon, da, 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 da. I know Brother Gordon for many, many years. What's wrong with him? He's trying to, you know, teach you. Step. Oh, sorry, caramel. Oh, everything, every time. 
Nobody is perfect. You cannot criticize. I need some help. I need to share. It's not mine. It's God's Word. That's His Word. Now, I'm going to put it all together. If you have any more questions, I'm not going to give you a big word. Oh, you don't even know it? Too bad. And move on. No. I'm encouraging you all. Sometimes it's simple and easy. Sometimes it's hard. There are some pictures. You know, later on, I will show you more pictures. And then it will be more clear. But if I stay in eight weeks or if you need to get some time to talk, then why you have to move on? You know, if you have any questions, please raise your hand. That's fine. Wow, look at this one right here. Let me get a nice process about this one. Slaves and masters. I'm going to follow my master. Whew. Don't be like that. Slave, you need to listen to what your master be willing to serve them at all times. If he's good to me, I have to be good to him. You know, you have to depend on each other. Even though you're a slave. That's, this is very impressive. And tell them those who are slaves that they should be willing to serve their master at all times. <coughs> they should try to please them, not argue with them. You know, you need to serve them. You want to continue to be faithful to them. That's very impressive. I want to show you an illustration. I went into Lubbock and work in Little Caesars. You know that little <laughs> commercial right there, that silly little man? All right. One man, supervisor, says, one deaf king. And his name. Oh. He's found 22 years old. His name is Gary. Where is he from? New York. All the way up there. Oh, he comes for school. Okay. So he's looking for work. Okay. He's about that high. 22 years old. The boss had brought me over to this little boy named Gary. It's almost like he's a slave. Oh, I have to do No, 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 no. Don't serve me. Watch. Yes. He acted like he was a slave. Making the pizza. You know, making the dough. Flatten it out and put it through the feeder. And then put it down on the pizza pan. And you have to make 10 stacks. Once at a time, about 9 o'clock. That means we have to put two hours ahead of time. At 11 o'clock. Once it's finished, we put it in the freezer. You understand? Okay, it's clear. <coughs> so he does the same thing. He fails, so I'm standing right there watching him. I know how fast he is, but then I said, you watch me, all right? So now he tries and tries and tries. He's improving and improving and improving. Now, I step out. I go do my other job. I'm going to go over there and help my boss. And I'll be back forth, okay? So he did all the work. 
keep putting all the pieces in there. I'm not staying there, making everything, helping them. And then later, Gary, what is like? What do you do? Go ahead, make more. He asked me, make more. For example, oh, I know it's experience. Go on, go on. Make a little bit of dough. So it takes a long time. Once you go around that way, and then I have to teach them how to make eight slices of that bread. Once it's easy, he just put it in there. Then later, he does the same thing. Wow! I know it's hard for me to catch up with him, especially if he's behind. So I try to catch up. And then once he gets closer and closer and closer, he goes more and more. It's almost like a slave master. Wow. <coughs> in the commentary, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5. I want you to read and remember what it said. Paul says, Slaves, obey your masters here on earth with fear and respect. And, oh, wow. You need to respect them. That's what it means. Especially in their hearts. Just like, do this with the heart, that is true, just as you obey Christ. You know, once you move on, you have to obey Christ. And you do the work. And read. Paul says that Titus needs to teach and teach and teach. To make you understand clear. Oh, I thought someone needed me. Okay, never mind. Any questions? Any questions? It's the same thing as a slave. Still. They should not steal from them. And they should show they are masters that they can be trusted. Then, in everything they do, they will show that the teaching of God, our Savior, is good. You know, you try to steal, and you ignore the master, and that's not good. You've given me things, and I steal from you. And I'll give you this example. One man himself who owns a restaurant, as he works, says, I've got to go. He says, All right, he's gone. Okay, guys. Start taking this stuff. You know, he's stealing without people noticing it. The boss, the owner, did not know about this until later. Came back, everything's, oh, everything's fine, everything's fine, no problem. And once he counts the money, the profit went down. Like, what is going on? He had a, no camera at that time. So, he investigates, says, oh, can you come and help? He said, the money is gone. You know, I don't know what's going on. I'll help you. So he set up all the cameras. Then, later, they were hidden in a room, watching the camera. The man says, all right, 
Oh, it's no big deal. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Then he tries to steal the money. Get all the food free. Free? No. The owner says, what? That's him. He stole my money. Thank you. I thought I trusted him. And now he's stealing. Making the profit go down. And he gets disgusted. Okay. Now, he has like an actor or something like that. Oh, I'm just a customer and I wanted to order my food. And then later got the food. Hey, I don't want this, you know. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Said, oh, that's silly. Just ignore him. I'm sorry. Your fault. That that um, boss was actually mean to him. Oh, the owner was really upset. He said, come here for a minute. What's going on? Come on, come on. And then he noticed there was cameras right there. And then he was like, ah, you're fired. Goodbye. Four months later, that restaurant had improved so much. I want to show you, you know, with the picture, it's an example. When you're arguing right there, you don't want to lose anything like that. So you need to kind of improve yourself. Then everything will be fine. And once you see that happening, it will grow and grow and grow and grow. Now I don't want that one. God wants it. That right, Gordon? That's why I wanted to see good friendship, no arguing. And just move on. Any questions? One of the things that Christ is teaching through those words of Paul is wanting all of us to know that once we change. That means we become Christians. Our life is joined to Christ. And we act like Christ other people. And people that maybe are terrible to us, like maybe the master, we change. Before, maybe we were not good for our masters. But now, we have Christ in us, and we need to change. Be good. Good to people that the world would say, you should not be good to. <clears throat> but we as Christians are good for a reason. We want that person to change also. We want that person be baptized into Christ. And that's what he's saying. When he says, they will show that the teachings of God our Savior is good. Why? So they will change this. Amen. God will change you. I can't change you. Ask God. You need to ask God for help. That's why when you obey, wow, God himself has grace will come. That grace can save everyone. <clears throat> it teaches us not to live against God. Oh. Sorry about that. That grace can save everyone. It can save all of us. Verse 12. <clears throat> it teaches us not to live against God and not to do bad things the world wants us to do. 
It teaches us to live on earth now in a wise and right way. <clears throat> a way that shows true devotion to God. As you start teaching, but if you ignore, that's not God. And God don't want that. That means we are against God. <coughs> about judgment. Oh, I know. I don't care about it. You really need to be careful with that. Verse 13. We should live like that while we are waiting for the great coming of our God and Savior, Jesus. But, He is our great hope. And He will come with glory. That's why we need Jesus. If you don't accept Jesus, you'll lose. You need to believe Jesus is the truly Son of God. He's the only one. You know, that saves, that saves. Well, wait a minute. There's only one person. Who is that? Jesus. Himself. There's no other people here on earth except for Christ in heaven. That's very impressive. Excuse me. That's why God's grace is very brief right there. And finally, the last two verses. <coughs> he gave himself for us. He died to free us from all evil. He died to make us pure. Who? The people who only belong to him and who always want to do good. <clears throat> you know, sometimes we fall. you got to keep going. And I hope that someone here, you know, especially when Jesus died, he gave us himself for us. And he rose from the dead. Wow. As he raised from the dead, there is no race, there's no hope. I hope that you all will change for Christ, not for ourselves. We want to keep joining and joining and joining. We want to change. Jesus, the Son of God. We want to pray every day. Very impressive. Last, these things you should tell people and encourage them. And when they are wrong, correct them. You have full authority to do this. So don't let anyone think that they can't ignore you. You know, looking down on me was crazy. <clears throat> I'm trying to help you. Wow. Now, that's why 1 through 15, I'm trying to explain this. I don't want to explain it more deep, you know, because it's time consuming, but this book will show only in four weeks you can be able to summarize it. You need to do more. Titus had always listened to Paul. And as he looks and travels, he was very patient about it. 
And now I'm going to show you a picture. I'm going to show you a good picture here. Look at that. Why is Paul in chains? Because he was in prison. As he got towards to Christ, he said, that's right there, is Christ. And he teaches the truth and he moves on. People look at each other like they're nothing. You need to try to change and be patient. Now, if you have any questions, please let me know so we can talk about it. If you want to talk about it later on, that's fine. It doesn't matter. The best way I can say, because you need, the Bible says you got to do this, you got to do that. And you get scared. No, I'm not going to do it that way. This is what the Bible said. And you have to change. You need to pray for yourself. Now, Brother Hollis, do you mind if you do the closing prayer for us?